Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back into Flint Hills. That's right, we're on Flint Hills once again. And guys, I've got a problem to fix today. We've been, well, started our planting season, finally getting some, some corn in the ground. And, well, you know what? The DB120, she's a beaut. This, well, used, new to us, DB120, we paid a pretty penny for. Only, the problem is, small tanks. We've got a small tank problem. Small tank, it's usually a short pipe, but now it's a small tank problem we run into. So we've got to figure out some options on that. Also, I hear there's a new dealership in town. New dealership! Let's go take a look at some new equipment, see what we can find. We got the Ford fixed. Let's go for a drive, guys. Pitter-patter! <laughs> Hey, you know, just since we rolled it, doesn't mean we can't use it anymore. It's back and looking better than ever, better than ever. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be done with an old this old Ford. This is a fantastic truck, guys. We're not, it's not going anywhere. Uh, we gotta get back into town though. So I need to figure out something today to get more seed and fertilizer because, well, even on our small, what is that, the 40 acre field we did well back on that side, it took us forever, and we've got a whole section to plant here. We got a whole section to plant, and I've got, I've got no corn. Uh, I've got corn, I just don't have a lot, you know, you know what I mean, it's just so much work to get that thing back and forth into the field. So let's figure that out, but let's go stop by Buck's new dealership. We've got a new dealership in the county, it's time to go take a look at it, I think. But let's see here, now I know that it's up by the co-op, I think it's up by the co-op is where Buck's dealership is, let's head that way. And uh, we'll have to head back anyways, because, well, I've got a plan for seed uh, well, from the co-op. Still first to 100k, man, how much are they paying for that advertising? Austin or Jake? I don't know. Farmers Co-op. We'll be back here in a second. Uh, but first of all, yeah, I want to go pull in and take a look at... Uh, I want to go take a look at this new dealership. Do not enter. Yeah, I don't think that applies to us. It doesn't look like they're quite open yet. Uh, I don't see anybody really here. But there's a lot of equipment. Uh, should we do a tour? I think we should do a quick tour. Hot Valley Equipment. Sweet. Let me just uh, pull up the side here, but... Yeah, and there's nobody It looks like they're still stocking some shelves in there. But it's just coming together, it looks like. This is a nice looking shop and a lot of equipment here. Oh, man. Guys, you know, I was talking how I need a new, a new tractor still. This thing caught my eye. Uh, what is this? The 6110 open cab, open station. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I need to get my hands on that thing. What else we got down there? A bunch of service equipment. I wonder if this is all stuff they're still working on. What do we got here? What does it say? More work orders. Oh, interesting. Okay. They got a lot of work orders going on already, considering they're just opening. There's some some big units down here. Um, someone left the uh, the wipers on. Weird. Now I do need a combine, uh, an STS 9770. That would be not too bad. We got an S790 next to it. Either of these I would take. Ah oh, man, it's a lot of cash though. But we're gonna need to spend a pretty penny on a combine. Uh, looks like oh we got another nine. Was it 96, 9420? That's nice. Little two wheel drive case down here. 285. All right, look at lots of nice equipment down here. What else we got on the far side? Now, guys, I'm looking for something like around the 300 horsepower range, something a bit bigger than, what is it, uh, the two-wheel drive John Deere we got, and something a little bit smaller, obviously, than that 8900 series. So we'll see. I, I mean, an RT. These are all brand spanking new. I, I don't really have the budget to go with something like this. Let's be honest. I mean, we're probably looking, what, three, 400,000 minimum? Maybe, yeah, well, at least for the combine. The combine we might go brand new. There's an R12. Oh, well, this is the brand new one I heard about. But we got one for used for half the price. Yeah, I, I don't know what I want to buy for a tractor. Oh, a sprayer as well. Now, this I might need. I haven't figured out a solution yet for uh, fertilizing yet, guys. We got a 20, 80, 20, 45, 82, 45, I should say, and a 9RX, 8RX. 8RX, that would be a little bit out of my budget. Hmm, trying to figure out what we're going to buy next. I don't think brand new is going to be the way to go, at least for that medium-sized tractor that I want to get. Maybe, possibly, a new sprayer, though. I could see potentially doing that, but other than that, guys, I can't see us going with a new tractor for that medium size, medium duty. I think we're better off buying used still. Uh, what's this? Uh, Two-wheel drive, 6410. I think that might be a little bit small. I still want to go bigger than that. Anyways, lots of nice equipment here. I'll see if he's got any used stuff maybe at some point in time. I'm not seeing anything right this very minute that's piquing my interest. Nothing around that 250 to 300 horsepower range that I think uh, is really what I'm looking for. That can be multitasked. I think we're uh, still looking. We're still looking, I think, guys. Ooh, what's that? Like this, uh, this is a work order. It looks like this is what I'm looking for. 8300, four-wheel drive. 
I can find something like this, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll have to watch this. Maybe, I don't know if this is going to be a used model for him or what, but this would be something that I'm looking for right here. Anyways, anyways, um, let's get back to work. I got some, I need some plans still to do today. And, uh, well, as much as I love looking at equipment, I don't got time for that. All right, over to the co-op. Let's, uh, let's go pick up, well, my next plan here. All right, let's pull on in. Now, I've already made the phone call again. Jake's got, uh, well... A little seed tender I, I need to get my hands on here for a little bit of help today. Do not enter. Once again, do not enter. It's, I don't know who these signs are for, but they can't be for me. All right, here is the old seed tender he's got. Looks like the only one he's got on the floor here, so this must be the one. Uh, we're going to go fill this up with some seed and fertilizer, and hopefully uh, this should be good. I've got some seed back at the farm if I need to, but while I'm here, you know, while in Rome, we might as well get some as well. I just think we're going to go through quite a bit on uh, this field. So I might as well grab a little bit more. We're going to go through more than what this can carry. Let's be perfectly honest. I've got this field and plus one more other big one to take care of still. So yeah, that's uh, going to take us quite a bit. All right, I'm just going to leave this right here for now. Uh, let's run across. I'm going to go grab the uh, 8900 series. Grab that one DB120. Well, let's get planted here right away. We got a lot of field to plant. It's going to take us a hot minute. That's for sure. Uh, we'll refill and then hopefully I can leave this somewhere close to the field. There's a lot of little uh, areas that are a little soft in there. I'm going to have to be careful taking that truck in. Those duels do not have a lot of traction on them. And uh, that could give us some grief if we need to drag that trailer anywhere close into the field. We'll see how that works out for us. But uh, everything else should be set on up. Let's jump the fence. Get rocking and rolling here. Oh, let's go. So our main problem, guys, is going to be the fact that, um, well, we need liquid fertilizer in here, not solid fertilizer. So we're still going to need to come back into the uh, into the farm and get the liquid fertilizer. That being said, I can lean it out a little bit. And we can probably get about four fills of seed before we need liquid fertilizer put in. Uh, that should be enough to get us through, I'm thinking. As well, we've got a uh, GPS fitted in here as well now. So we've got GPS into our, uh, into our tractor, this old tractor. Uh, it's not great by any means. It's not great because it's not really built properly into the system. Let's just put it that way. It's not designed for this particular tractor, but you know what? It'll work with the 120, of course, so that's kind of what I'm going for. Let's drop this on down. Good to go. Let's go. Let's see if we can get uh, a bit. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a headland done around here. Take her nice and easy. And then on the far side, we'll see what happens, but be able to open things up a little bit but this is almost like two fields right here guys so this on our left this field is completely cut off from the one on our right you can see we've got this drainage ditch right here and i'm hoping we can pull the uh that seed tender into and and refill in this area somewhere we'll see how that all works out but this is eh, it seems like it's fairly dry but if we get any water then that's gonna be a bit of an issue yeah all right looks good there Let's cruise on to the other side. Guys, we didn't even get a whole way around here. I'm, I'm out of seed right now. Completely out of seed. Uh, you can see we've gotten all the way down there, but we are just coming up on Gertie's farm here. The stabbing cabin's right ahead of us. Uh, let me just pull us up along the side, and we'll bring the truck this way and fill up right over on this side, I suppose. You know what? This is probably a good spot, actually. There's a bit of a dry spot in the back here. I can just kind of fill this up on the far, far corner of it, I suppose. Yeah, we'll leave it like right right over here. We'll just drive around the corner and we can, uh, yeah, get in behind. Perfect. Hey, you see what I mean, guys? Uh, it's It would be nice if we had an extra tank in the back of that where I wouldn't have to do this because then it just save us some time. But you know what? Whatever. We can quickly cross through here. I need to set this farm area up as well, but we're good for now. Uh, let's just crawl through here and uh, we should be good just to back on up and fill it on up from the back side, I believe. Open that on up. There we go. And we'll fill this on up, guys. Looking good. Should be good right in here. Yeah, fired up. Seed going in. Excellent. Well, I don't know if we have enough seed in there or not. We'll see how much we've got. I may have to go refill this as well. It looks like it's going through pretty darn quick. We just ran down. She's pretty much empty already. That's that's a lot of seed. Oh, man. Seed tender is empty. And we still have about 10% left to, uh, to fill in this tank. That's craziness. Um, I'm going to need to get more seed at some point in time. We're not going to get anywhere close to this. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to guess six trips we're going to have to make uh, to reload this this unit. Once again, I need a seed trailer to tow behind. I really do. All right, we've gone and uh, refilled that seed tender. Back to work. Oh, man. Lots of seeds still have to do. Lots of, lots of seeds to put in the ground still, guys. 
Let's go. Just coming up on the end of our first lap here, guys. Just move this over just a touch. There we go. Uh, you got to watch over these telephone bowls here. They're a little bit close, especially when you're dealing with a 120. Uh, it's tough to judge that distance, but we're looking pretty good right to the very end. Here's we started right well, by our silo system here, guys. Oh, man. This is, um, yeah, it's going to take some time. One lap. From now on, I'm just going to go back and forth here, I think, and uh, maybe see if we can get these in the ground quickly. But, yeah, I'm still going to need to fill up this thing more than once. Uh, I'm thinking, well, more than like four times, to be honest. That's the, the, the time-consuming part. When we're putting seeds down like this, it's pretty quick. But as soon as we get around the edge here, uh, and then we run out of, out of seeds, and I got to fill this up, that's where the time really starts to, to fade away from us, it seems like. It seems like I just run out of time. Oh, well. Let me uh, get ready. I'm going to set this GPS up here in a sec. And uh, we should be able to, to just rely on that and get this planted the easy way, I think. All right. GPS is hooked up. Should be good. Um, oh, man. These trees are a little closer. Even if I've done a bit of a, a bit of a headland here, we're still running into these trees. I can't I can't swing it around without risking hammering into the trees at all. Got to take her kind of a little bit easy here. And then slowly coming around. Let me turn that GPS back on. And now it should find the right spot. Oh, not quite. Did I not set it up right? It looks like we're missing. Yeah, we're off by a good 10 feet. Look at this. It's like right here. I gotta see if I can figure this out. Uh, something's not set up correctly. All right, I, I think I, I think I figured it out, guys. It was, uh, yeah, that was user error. That's all. Just user error. Don't worry about it. It's all good. All right, let's drop this down. Um, Perfect. Yeah, there we go. I think we just had the width set wrong on the DB120. It was thinking it was a DB90. And that was uh, just setting us off on the wrong row for the next one. So we should be good now. Now I've got about 60% seed left. Yeah. If I get back to the far side there, probably get like maybe one more pass before we have to go fill up again. Guys, there's a lot of seed going down the ground here. All right, guys, we made a bit of an oopsie just driving out the seed tender here. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, it's a little bit slippery on the sides of the fields, and I kind of slid the truck into an irrigation creek just a little bit over here. So what I'm hoping for is that this is going to unload, and, um, yeah, once we get some seed out of it, then we're going to get some traction. I'm sure it'll be fine once it's unloaded, but these bald tires over here, there, there's no grip on these things. Even in four-wheel drive, I'm sliding everywhere, so... If I get everything out of the trailer, I think that should help us at least not push us back towards that. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll get a chain if I have to. <laughs> what a pain. Anyways, let me back this right on up. Uh, we've already had to fill this thing a couple of times. Let's fill it back up one more time here. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Make sure this gets all unloaded. And then hopefully from here, we could just kind of drag that truck out of there. But she's she's a little slick down in here, guys. You gotta watch yourselves. I mean, usually the weight would be a good thing, but it's sliding us down into the creek and i don't want that to happen you know what let's uh let's see if we can pull this out right now let me jump on inside see what happens here oh boy yeah you can see we're we're a little slanty 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 into the creek right here uh let's crank this up over this way let's take her nice and gentle and just you know what i'm gonna keep the trough out as well just to make sure that see if that helps us oh there we go come on get up there oh man i'm still sliding guys Still sliding. Come on, let's go. Get her in four-wheel drive. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Weight, that helped out. Getting the weight off of it. Yeah, that made, that made all the difference right there. All right. Good, good, good. Perfect. Anyways, guys, I still got lots of planting left to do. We've done this, uh, this rig and roll like three, is it four times now? We still got about a third of the field left. Day's getting, uh, you can see the sun's starting to go down. It's just starting to get a little bit darker, but... We should be able to get this done by the end of the day. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, well, you know what to do. Slap that like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. Folks, I'll catch you next time. From Flint Hills on the Roleplay Series, this is Clutch. Over and out. Mm -hmm.